Hi everyone, this is Nicole, a postdoc of the Affective Intelligence and Robotics Lab of the University of Cambridge. And today I'm going to present to you our work on robotic coaches for mental well-being. First, I'm going to provide you with a bit of motivation behind our research questions. In the context of mental well-being, the World Health Organization suggests that work can either help employees, providing them a life goal, or it can pose risk, for example, due to um, hard deadline and tight scheduling. Past works show how robots can be used as a tool to promote and sustain mental well-being. However, none of those existing works investigated the use of different forms of robotic coach in the wild. Therefore, in this work, we have investigated the deployment of two forms of robotic mental well-being coaches in the workplace. The two robotic platform use where the QT robot that you can see on the left bottom corner of this slide and the Misty robot that is on his right side. Our main research question were grounded on the HRI literature and were the first one focusing on the robotic coach forms in terms of robotic platform. So it includes both appearance, but also robot uh, functionalities and platform uh, limitation and capabilities. And our first research question was, how does the robot form influence coaches' perception of the robotic coach in the workplace? Our second research question was focusing on the personality uh, grounded on the ocean scheme. And our question was specifically, how do employees perceive the robotic coach personality and do the perception differ due to form? Finally, our third research question focus on the coach coachy alliance. And we wonder, how do the, per the perception of the coachy coach alliance, also known as working alliance, differ across the two forms? To address our research questions, we design a between subject study in a workplace. Specifically, we establish a collaboration with the company Cambridge Consultants, located in Cambridge. And we deploy two robots in a meeting room of their office and we left them for around two months. The robots represent the condition of our study. Half of the participants were randomly assigned to interact with a QT robot, while the other half of the participant was randomly assigned to interact with a Misty robot. You can see in this slide the two conditions with the two robots. We involved a total of 26 employees in the study and the robotic coaches deliver four different positive psychology exercises over the course of four weeks. To design the robotic coach, we consulted the two mental well-being coaches and we look into the literature to understand how to design the personality of a robotic coach based on the ocean scheme. As output of the consultation and the literature review, we define a robotic coach personalities as follows. The robotic coach should be eye open, eye conscientious, medium extrovert, medium to eye agreeable, and low neurotic. In our study, we collected both quantitative and qualitative measurement to get the triangulation of data from our analysis. The quantitative measures include questionnaire, pre and post study, which included ROSAS, Working Alliance Inventory, and we analyzed the data using statistical tests. 
as far as concerned a qualitative measure, we included interviews that were analyzed with the framework analysis and focus group that were organized directly by the host company. To address our first research question, our results show that participants who interact with the MISTI robot scored the robotic coach Worm Eiger than participants who interact with the QT robot. The interview results support these findings. People who interact with the MISTI robots felt more engaged in comparison to doing the exercise without the robot. Our finding showed that the MISTI robot was perceived more positively than the QT robot. To answer our second research question, again, we analyzed the result from both questionnaire and interviews. Our result suggested that the MISTI robot personalities was perceived more in line with the target personality with respect to the QT robot personality perceived. Again, the interview supported this result. Participants interacting with the QT robot did not even think that the robot had the personalities. Overall, MISTI robot personalities was perceived more positively than the QT robot one. To address our third research question, our results highlight that participants who interact with the MISTI robot felt more bonded and able to achieve a goal than participants who interact with the QT robot. Analogously, in the interview, participants who interact with the MISTI robot reported that they feel affinity with the robot. Our result suggested that participants felt a stronger alliance with the MISTI robot than with the QT robot. So we can summarize the main contribution of these studies as follow. First, the robotic coach form matters in the context of mental well-being coaching. Second, the form impacts the perception of behaviors and the personality of the robotic coach. And third, the coach-coach alliance is very important to evaluate the success of the coaching practice. We would like to thank all the founders that supported our research, and especially we want to thank the employee of the Cambridge consultant who volunteered in taking part to this study. Thank you again, and happy to answer any questions.